that's rubbing wires, but that's these are usually laying on a line somewhere. That's what I was afraid I was going to find. I don't really see any signs of oil. It was like we were flooding a little bit. Tubes. None of them feel like they're rubbed out right there too. This thing was vibrating. It's just an equalizer line. I mean everything jammed over in here. Those lines are rubbing. Those lines are touching right there. I need to get all this isolated somehow. I mean, this is the little stuff that if you catch on startup, save you a problem. In the long run, that cap tube's rubbing right there. That's the other equalizer line. They had problems with the old ones, they would try to stick a TXV in the other section and run it through the cabinet and the lines would rub on top this is a newer unit but i mean you got wires rubbing everywhere there's just so much crap jammed in here um i'm gonna have to throw gauges on this guy and see what it's doing we do have so there's a sub cooling coil and solenoids inside so you can have straight cooling mode a call for cooling and dehum goes to subcooling mode and it feeds through. There's check valves and then feeds back. And then just straight dehum, which is hot gas reheat, which sends the discharge gas obviously over to the reheat cool. And you just keep looking and you keep finding spots. Gonna have to do something with this stuff. Maybe I can kind of maneuver them a little bit to get them out of the way.